Hi guys, and welcome to the first of many Red Dead Redemption guides brought to you by Jessup. In this first one, we're going to be looking at how to get the Outlaw Survival Kit, uh, one of the DLC items that you get um, if you've pre-ordered the game. So the main part that you need to get to, you need to get to Chapter 2. All those that are trying to get it straight away, you won't be able to. You need to get to Chapter 2 and your camp in Valentine. Once you do that, come to your bed. And as you can see here, you can open your outfits up. And there you will see the Gunslinger's outfit, which is part of the Outlaw Survival Kit. Um, any other outfits that you've um, got through DLC or pre-order bonuses will also be displayed here. So that's where you fit them on. You can also go in and select different outfits or individual hats and make it custom outfits. Um, as demonstrated here, you just load it up, pick which item you want to customise, such as hat, go in, select which hat you want. You can also go into there and select different colours for your hats as well. See the little symbol displayed next to your hat? They're what hats you can store on your heart. You can store up to three hats on your heart, so if you ever lose it, you can collect that back from there. So now you know how to get your gunslinger's outfit, we can move on to getting the war horse. So to get the war horse, as I say, you must be in Valentine, you must be on chapter 2, and then you go over, once we've um, established a camp, you can go and do a mission with Hosea. And once you go see Hosea, you can go hunting. And that's what we'll go into next, we'll just have one last little look at this outfit, so you can see that on all its glory, and then we'll head over to Hosea go hunting and look at getting um, as war horse so guys let's take a look at that so now we've got that done we go over to Hosea and start the mission and exit pursued by a bruised ego as we see here after a short little clip scene Hos here will go over to your horse and talk you through some tasks on how to swap your saddle and put it onto a different horse. You put that saddle onto a Shire horse and Jose takes you into town where the stables are now open. So we cut to town just arriving in Valentine here and you'll see So we'll just get up to the stables this is how you can actually go in until now they'll be a lot. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. So once we enter the stables, we go through a short cutscene and then it takes us to this stage where we can choose the stable as horse. So we stable it and then we can see the selection of horses that the stables have got to offer. So there's a Morgan horse here, which isn't great. An American standard breed. A Dutch warm blood, and then our war horse, uh, Andrin, yeah, cope with me guys, I'm dyslexic, so any odd words, uh, I'm not getting, but there's his war horse, you can see it's a standard handling type, and once you select it, you can go into it, and you'll see that the type of horse this is, is a war, so that's basically it guys, that's how you get um, your DLC, any other horses, I know there's also a thoroughbred, um, if you got a certain package, that'll be available in here. Any horses or content um, that you've got downloaded will now be sat in here, free of charge, for you to collect. Alright partner, you got yourself a deal. And, a fine new horse. I hope and so. just at the end, before you leave, during this little cutscene, the stable owner, um, I'll do you a bit of a solid, and he'll actually give you a grooming brush here, as we can see. And a couple of little carrots and treats for your horse. So any of you that's been wondering how to groom your horse, you can now do that. And there we have it guys, the War Horse and Outlaw Survival Kit. So if that's been useful for you, give us a like, give us a subscribe. You've been watching Jessup, until next time guys, peace out, stay safe.